It is rainy, it is gray, so let's talk about some books that I don't want in my collection anymore. Hi everyone, my name is Carly. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you've never seen me before, I like to talk about books or life or just general things, whatever I feel like. And today we're going to talk about books that I have decided that I am going to let go. For the last couple years my mom has been trying, <laughs> keyword trying, to tell me that I need to condense my book collection to like one box in our garage um, and I have told her that no. <laughs> I will admit that there is always books that I go through and decide that I just don't want anymore but like the dream is to have a place where I can finally get like bookshelves and I will put all those books on um, and these are books that in my future self I do not want sitting on my bookshelves. There's a lot here. <laughs> I've got a big, big box here quite a bit here and my goal maybe not this video is that there, we have a lot of little libraries like little free libraries around that I know of and I'd like to find more and I want to put some of these in there probably all of them even though some of these I don't know how much I which I want to put out in the public <laughs> um, is what I'm gonna say but a lot of these brought back some memories and so let's go through them and see what I will be getting rid of. In no particular order, I'm just gonna pull from the top of this pile and we'll see what I've got. First one on here is Call Me By Your Name, uh, Peach Sea. That's all I've got. This one is Summerland. I just remember being bored and confused and honestly disappointed in this book. And so I don't want it anymore. Station 11. It wasn't that I hated this book. I thought the writing was really nice. It just, I think, the back says one thing and then the book ends up being a completely, almost completely different thing. Um, and so that's where I think a lot of my disappointment comes. I just think it's funny that this book deals with a catastrophic flu and they created a mini series of this book that came out right at the start of the COVID pandemic. I'm just saying. Lovely Bones. Um, just sad and I just have no desire to reread or keep this book. Yeah. Nightlight. I don't remember getting this book. I think it, it's a Twilight parody. I don't want anything to do with Twilight. Strange the Dreamer. I don't remember like anything about this book, just that I remember I was bored and so underwhelmed with it and honestly I don't want to keep it. There is a pretty, I remember that. But yeah, I don't want to keep it. I don't want to reread it. I want this to go to somewhere else, someone who might like this more than me. This is a controversial one, but The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Did not like this one as much as like everyone else did and kind of have no desire to read anything else by this author. Nothing like super bad, I just, it didn't do it for me. This is another controversial one. A Court of Thorns and Roses. I read this when I think this book was having its first heyday back in like 2015, 2016. I can't quite remember, but somewhere around there. And I did not like it. I hated this book. Like I have no desire to read anything more by Sarah J. Nass and um, I kind of never want to hear about this book despite the fact that I hear about this book in the series and this author all the dang time. So, bye. This one I'm still debating but it's Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I remember like nothing really about this. All I remember is hearing about how much people love this um but I remember not loving it as near as much as other wolves and so I could I'm still thinking about maybe keeping this and rereading it and then deciding after that but also I have so much other things I want to read that I don't know if I really want to sit and reread this there's so much okay another controversial one my gosh I've got so many controversial opinions but it's the first two in the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy I thought I would like these so I bought the two um and it was right before the third came out so I don't have the third and then did not like these I was just really bored kind of confused with the world building and I very much just like Lila Layla Delilah I don't remember and like the second one and I had no, con no desire to continue the third and I have read one other book by V.E. Schwab and I think she is just not the writer for me, unfortunately. So these are be very beautiful. I hope someone, they go to someone that wants to read them and loves them. Because unfortunately I was not one. I've already got a huge pile. Yeah, so Mosquito Land. Um, 
it said it dealt with like grief and stuff and grief is different for everyone and this is not the type of grief that I was thinking it would deal with and ultimately was underwhelmed with it. Sweetheart, random book I picked up at Target years ago when I would pick up random books at Target. Um, something about a girl in the 50s wanting to be a wrestler, I think it is. I That's all I really remember from it. Um, cute cover. Ice Cream Queen of Orchid Street. Um, I remember I DNF'd this because the main character was extremely unlikable and where I DNF'd was, was her messy with her birth control so she could get pregnant so her husband wouldn't go off to World War II without his consent. Um, and I was already disliking a lot of this book, which was unfortunate because the whole premise sounds very interesting and I would be interested in read the premise, but I was already disliking a bunch of that and that was just the final straw. So should I be letting other people get this book? Probably not, but you know what? Say lovey. Americana. Uh, I've heard some now concerning things about this author and I just wasn't a huge fan of the book in general. Ember in the Ashes. I wanted to like this so much and I just didn't and um, ended up doing nothing it because I just was not having a good time with it. I gotta go let my cat out. Hi Lily. What are you doing? What's going on? Well, let's see how long it takes for her to maybe try to start clawing her way in my door. Okay, moving on. Geekerella. Um, this is a really cute cover, I will say, but um, I remember I enjoyed it, but like I have no desire to like read this book again or like any other books sort of like this, um, which is like, what was it? Girl falls in love with actor and she's like big into cosplay fandom stuff. Fun, but like not really for me anymore. Ooh, I kept these all together too. Oh, okay. The um, Miss Peregrine's trilogy. I haven't heard about this in a while, but I know it was really popular at the time, but I remember I was just not a huge fan of it. That's the running theme of this video. I don't remember specifics because it's been so long. I just remember I felt like I wanted more from it and the characters and the story. So that's gonna stay there. Help. Um, I remember I did like it, but again, it's just, it's just not a book that I want to keep for myself or have on my shelves. The Unexpected Everything. I remember I really, really enjoyed this, but why a romance contemporary is just not a genre for me anymore. Um, and so I want this to go to someone else that will, that is the market for this kind of genre and book. Oof, this one, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I'll start this off by saying I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed Kristen Hanna's writing. I have a little bit of a mind goal to myself, a little goal for this year that I do want to read at least another Kristen Hanna book because I do, I did remember I really enjoyed this. Why am I giving this away? Um, I have no desire to reread this book for some personal reasons. One of those things that I think having it around is going to be a little too hard for me. So I don't want to keep it for that reason, but I did enjoy it. But if you want to cry, this will be the book for you. I don't want to cry. Another one, When in Rome, read this last summer um, and kind of regret buying it. I just don't think Sarah Adams is the writer for me and this book was just okay, but I am okay not keeping it. Um, I want to keep the books that I love and not ones that I think are okay. This is controversial, but Babel, Babel, Babel. Again, Arv Kwong, I just don't think it's the reader reader, the writer for me, and not the reader for her. <laughs> um, it was very okay. I think I've mentioned it multiple times now at this point, but I did read The Poppy War, just the first one, and I um, wasn't super like blown away by it, and then totally forgot I read it and never continued with the series. And I had sort of the same feelings with this. I just was not blown away by it. Um, it has some very thought-provoking plot about it, but ultimately I didn't care about much of anything going on in this book and so yeah I want this to go to people that will love and read this book because it was not me. We are getting in some oldie but goodies here. The Upside of Unrequited and Leah on the Offbeat. Um, I really really liked Simon versus the Homo Sapiens and these ones I just did not really care for. Um, so we'll keep Simon but these ones We'll go to better homes, I hope. Um, also, again, I'm, I'm almost 30 years old. YA is just not the genre for me anymore, and I'm really okay keep not keeping 
YA books that like were just okay to me even when I liked YA more. Everything Everywhere All at Once. No. Everything Everything. I remember I enjoyed it at the time but again YA book is YA and I just don't feel the need to keep this. A Study in Charlotte. Really really disliked this book. Um, really disliked this book so I don't want to keep it. And I know I'm not really explaining much of anything but I read these like five six seven years ago and um i don't remember much it's just my general like or dislike feelings on them next we've got more happy than not um i think i remember i picked this up thinking it was a different book by this author and then it wasn't the book i thought it was but also I've, i think i read ended up reading that book and this book and this author i just remember things ended up like unhappily like there's never really a, a, a happy Indian, but at the same time it kind of makes sense for like the story but again personal stuff I just I can't really do sadness <laughs> in my books anymore I remember being disappointed in this book both because it was not the book I thought it was but also it was not the book that I thought it was going to be when I got into it another controversial one red white and royal blue I was absolutely not blown away by this book even when I first read this I remember being very disappointed in it and it was really underwhelming. I will say the movie that came out last month, not last month, last summer, um, it was both the best movie and the absolute worst movie I ever seen and I can't decide which one it was. It was entertaining is the main thing. Fate of the Tearling. I think this was the third book in this series and the reason I have just the third book is because I think when I was reading my library I didn't have the third book so I went out and bought it. This series, I remember I really liked the first book and then I just kind of went down from there and this was my least favorite and so I don't really want to keep it. Especially when it's the third book in a series I have no desire to buy the whole thing of. Radio Girls, 1926 and she works for the BBC radio um, and it's about a woman trying to break into a man's world in the 20s. I feel like I remember it was fine. It like it was fine. It was fine. Again my random like target buying days. And it is the let's see if I can even hold these. Call Down the Hawk, Mr. Impossible, and Grey Warren. I love, love, love the Raven Boys series. I absolutely love it. So I thought I would love a series based off of Ronin from the Raven Boys because Gosh, I got something in my eye. It's all this dust from these books. But I'm not gonna lie, Ronan's like not my favorite character. And so to read only about him and not even get little very getting like the bare minimum, not even the bare minimum, it's below bare minimum mention of like my favorite from that series. Like I know this wasn't gonna be a Raven Boys 2.0, but like it just didn't have what I wanted. And so why keep it when I don't want it? That's all the books that I've got. I don't even, how much is that? I have a total of 36 books here that I want to get rid of. That is a lot. But yeah, it'll feel good to not have these anymore and to not have it sitting in the back of my brain that I don't actually like those and I don't want them anymore. So yeah, those are those books that I plan to get rid of. And like I said, I plan to um, take it to some free little libraries, but I'd hope to be doing this maybe the same day, but it is rainy and gross out and I just don't feel like leaving the house today. So probably not going to do that, but hopefully soon. And I will make like a little vlog about it because I also want to check out what's in the little libraries. So watch me in some future video get rid of books but also gain more books. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> anyway thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about the books that I'm gonna get rid of. I want to hear all your controversial opinions because I know mine. I got some pretty controversial ones in there. Um, but anyway thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. Have a good one. Thank you and bye. Remember to take a thumbnail.